I, he's great. He, to be fair, it, it's a different world living here to it would have been at Roger Charlton's at Beckhampton, but he, he slotted in a treat. He'd spent a month where he was very alert to everything, but uh, I think he knows, you know, he's reared here and born here and what have you, and as you can see, he, he, yeah, very laid back and yeah, he's great, bless him. When he first came here, he was very alert to what was going on. Um, he's still settling in every day. Um, so I'm sure some days he thinks he sh should be um, still going up the gallops, but you know, we, we keep him busy. You see, he goes out in the paddock, enjoys himself. We give him a lunge. He's got a nice big walker. Uh, he's got lovely facilities. Um, so I say just keeping him busy um, and looking after him as, as best we can. He's he's amazing. His 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 mentality and everything, you know. And he gets a lot of it from his dad and obviously Dubawi and his nature and everything. And I think that's you know key really. You know, he's, as you see, he's very laid back and yeah, amazing. I doubt we'll have another one like him anyway. I always think he's like Rocky, you know. He, he had a few comebacks and uh, and succeeded. For him to come back, um, sort of mentally and physically, um, from retirement and and win, you know, not not just a race, but you know, a, a massive race, a Group One. Um, he, he's got to be he's got to be one of the toughest horses, you know, that there is around at the moment. So yeah, we're very lucky to have him here.